Unique New York, unique New York, unique New York. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Red leather, yellow leather. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sala Mike. Welcome to episode three of Fuck HGTV. Are you allowed to curse on YouTube again? This is what we're doing. This is my Twitch chat. This is YouTube. YouTube, I'd like to for you to meet Twitch chat. Twitch chat, meet YouTube. Don't be, don't be, don't be like that. Don't be the mean girls. You can't sit with us. That's what I feel like you guys are sometimes, YouTube. I know you've been with me the longest. I know you like deadlifts. I know you guys like leaving angry comments underneath every video. I know six of you really, really feel good clicking that thumbs down button. It just fulfills your Sunday ego. But just say hi to Twitch. You know, just give them a, hey guys, let's be friends. FHGTV, that should be the series title. Don't watch HGTV, watch me. Renovation station, day 11. Grinding up the floor. So we got the walls, I would say 99% done. We have a little bit of edging to do, but we don't have the ladder. And watch it, perverts. I'm not talking about edging, you know, but is it called edging? Detail work? To do. We need a bigger ladder, so we're gonna work on that. Next, we're gonna get this concrete um, to look a little prettier. And one of the biggest questions, we covered a little bit in the podcast this week, if you wanna check out 50% facts. Um, people ask like, Mike, you, you said you don't feel like you belong or strength doesn't have a culture and gyms never called to you in terms of how they looked or felt. What are you gonna do that's so different or so cool? Um, and I think a lot of it's just attention to detail. I think a lot of people think that you have commercial gyms, which are lame and suck, and you have to, you can't bounce your weights, and you can't yell, and you can't ammonia, and screw those gyms. And then on the opposite end, the only other gyms that you have are literally just four walls, a ceiling, and someone puts a squat rack in there. Um, and in between those, there's so much detail that could be made. And so for me, it's about attention to detail and paying attention to those things that matter both performance-wise and visually that allow you to have a good experience when going to the gym and building a community. Um, I didn't just want to rent this building and throw squat racks in here. That's not a vision that me or the boys had. We want it to be aesthetically pleasing um, while being functional. Functional is 100% the lead way, but it can be pretty at the same time. So the goal is to get this ground not necessarily even because, you know, we're not bowling out here or playing golf or something but to even it out a little bit and to get all the gunk out of there to prep the floor uh, for a dye so we're gonna have the majority of the place dyed cement look a little prettier give it a little pow um, and then we'll build the platforms and the, and the equipment kind of around that to give it its main aesthetic so that's what we're in the middle of now the grinder is only 10 inches I know ladies are saying only but 10 inches is a little small and we're trying to bang out five 50 square foot, um, 5,500 or so. So, uh, and it's slow because you're literally grinding cement. So that's what we did most of yesterday. We had the back room, which is the podcast media room, a ton of like three decade old linoleum. Uh, so we're jackhammering that guy out. I have, I have like forearm pump that hurts so bad. Uh, but that's pretty much done. That ground's gross. We're probably gonna have to redo the drywall. Uh, one, because of like uh, old water damage and two, because of um, sound. We don't want the sound to bounce off so bad. Um, so, so the back room is like kind of like a mini project of its own going on at its own pace. And then the focus is here. Uh, there's a cool wood frame that's kind of like vintage from when this place was a machine shop in the 60s. Uh, it was all painted with, I don't know, four different colors and layers over the decades. Uh, so me and Connor started to sand that out, make that look a little bit prettier. Um, and that's about where we stand. I mean, constant emails with the equipment, trying to figure out what our priorities are. Um, again, I think I've talked to you guys and, and some of this is behind this, you know, scene business stuff, but we have so many different communities because I've been on the internet so long and I have so many friends in the strength game and locally, um, obviously our base is going to be people that want to get better through a barbell. Now within the niches of that, we don't know who's going to show up to be a member here. Um, hopefully, you know, the, the clothing really speaks to uh, a segment of you guys and you guys can relate to how. I like to wear my clothes and how I like to express myself through fashion. 
while it's still being comfy and being able to work out in, but it's also something you can just maybe not go to the club in, but you can go out in, if that makes sense. I don't want to use the term athleisure because I feel like all athleisure companies right now look the exact same. And that's not what I'm trying to build. I don't want to build skin tight joggers and stringers. No offense to the boys out there. That's not what I wear. So, or I'm not wearing making Lululemon tights. Like they already do a really good job of that. And I also don't wear tights. So um, we're going to find our balance of that. And so hopefully that hits a large seg segment of you guys. And in here, we're going to get like-minded individuals that want to get better and learn. Um, but again, the niche of that, where it will go is where we'll slowly build up over time. We're going to get all the basics in here. So it'll be a full functioning gym. Um, but maybe we have more power building homies in here. Then we're going to get a couple more machines, some hammer strength, some, uh, maybe another cable set, even though we'll have some cables to begin with. Uh, maybe we, we get a bunch of USAPL cats and they're just worried about squat bench dead. So then we're going to upgrade, you know, maybe get some Alinko, uh, equipment, some comp bars, some combo racks whatever maybe we, the weightlifting crew comes in you know maybe we got a bunch of olympic weightlifters in which case we'll figure that out as we get there so we're gonna get the base in i'm discussing all that online with different um, people getting quotes on, on equipment um but it's, it's gonna be an evolution you know it's gonna be an evolution one we're trying to elevate what already is the garage strength gym and then beyond that this in itself will evolve over time um to hopefully fit the needs of of our community and that's the number one goal so a lot of things still juggling, a lot of things still moving slow. The place looks good um, with just the paint, but we still have a lot of improvements to go there. So two or three more days probably, and uh, hopefully we'll have some dye on the ground, and that'll be a little bit of a visual pop. That'll probably be episode four. Um, but for today, we're waiting on the grinder to come back, Jim McD on the way, and start to bang this thing out. Any questions? Raise your hand. Leave your comments below. If this isn't the sexiest mullet you've ever seen, I guess if it is the sexiest mullet you've ever seen, just give it a thumbs up. You're welcome. Goodbye.